Hey y'all, Coach Jennifer right here. And I apologize for the generator in the background, but I wanted to get this video out as absolutely fast as I could because of the title. Do not fast on atonement day. Do not, do not fast, whatever you do, do not abstain from food on atonement day. And here I'm gonna show you why. Now we're looking for the book of Jubilees, but we notice here that Gateway won't show us this book. It's because it's what's considered a hidden book. Okay, you got the lost books and all of them, forgotten books. And, all kinds of books, but some books they just absolutely don't want you to see it. And one of those is the book of Jubilees, particularly um, one of the verses is many in here. But this one over here is coming out of chapter 50, where it's talking about the Sabbath day. Well, I'm just going to do a quick search for the word fast in here. And it's one time that it's mentioned down here in verse 12. And I'm going to start back up here. At verse 11, just to give it some context, it says, This work alone shall be done on the Sabbath days in the sanctuary of the Lord your God, that they may atone for Israel with sacrifice continually from day to day for a memorial well pleasing before the Lord, and that he may receive them always from day to day according as thou hast been commanded. Now, we see the word atone in there, which is really interesting, but we're talking about the Sabbath day. Now, let's look at verse 12. It says, and every man who does any work thereon or goes on a journey or tills his farm, whether in his house or any other place, or whoever lights a fire or rides on any beast or travels by ship or on the sea or whoever strikes or kills anything or slaughters of beasts or a bird or whoever catches an animal or a bird or a fish or whoever fast or makes war on the sabbath okay so here's all the rules of the sabbath day right there but notice why it says do not fast it's giving us a warning here at the beginning it says every man who does any of this and it gives this long list and you notice how it ends there in a semicolon that's because the sentence is not over but what it's saying here is that whosoever does any of these things, whoever fasts on a Sabbath day, the man who does any of these things on a Sabbath day shall die so that the children of Israel shall observe the Sabbath according to the commandments regarding the Sabbath of the land, as it is written in the tablets, which he gave unto my hands that I should write out for the, the laws of the seasons and the seasons according to the divisions of the years this is our father talking to moses or through moses in the book of jubilees the last chapter 50 says that if you fast you're gonna die now let's go over to leviticus chapter 23 like i said i'm rushing here okay so we're over here and we're looking in leviticus 23 now i'm gonna do a word search for the word fast here it's not there all right so let's go on down to where we know we're talking about atonement day that's down here in about verse 27 which says also on the tenth day of this seventh month there shall be a day of atonement it shall be an holy convocation unto you and ye shall afflict your souls and offer an offering made by fire unto the lord so here we're saying that it's talking about atonement day but notice that it doesn't say the word fast it says afflict well, that's because it's illegal to fast. You would never fast on the Sabbath day as we learn under the Sabbath day rules. If you fast on the Sabbath day, you'll die. So anybody who fasts on atonement day will die, right? That's, that's, that carries the death penalty to fast on the Sabbath day. But then look down there at verse 29. It says, For whosoever soul it be that shall not be afflicted in that same day, he shall be cut off from among his people. So it's not telling us to fast. It's telling us to afflict. And as proof of this, we can look at the four times in the Bible in which the word afflict and fast was in the same sentence, including Ezra chapter 8 and 21, which says, Then I proclaimed a fast there at the river of Ahiva, that we might afflict ourselves before our God. So it's two different things to fast and afflict. That fast was a way of afflicting their body, but Leviticus 23 didn't say afflict your body, it said afflict your souls. So that's different. Now, second place we see the word fast and afflict in the same sentence is in Isaiah chapter 58. So let's go over there. Notice in verse one, it's talking about a trumpet there. Look at verse five. He says, is it such a fast that I have chosen a day for a man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head as a bulrush and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him? Wilt thou call this a fast, an acceptable day of the Lord? 
So it's clearly showing us that it's not the same thing. We see a fast as 66.85. To suma, to practice my Hebrew. And then we see afflict as 60.31, anahu means to be bowed down or humbled. So what Leviticus 23 is saying is to humble our soul. But you see in Isaiah chapter 58, they're being chastised for what they're doing to their body because they're not doing it right. And then he goes on to explain what it is that we are supposed to do. And like I said, I wanted to um, get this video done quickly. So I'm just gonna post up some links that we've done about fasting coming out of Isaiah 58 and the Shepherd of Hermits. They say the same thing, um, but it's good to have a different perspective. So check out the ones from the Shepherd of Hermits on afflicting our souls on atonement day and help spread the word. Just let people know, do not fast on atonement day. That That's the death penalty. It's like they're trying to kill us. You know, they, they telling us the exact opposite thing to do when they got us fasting on a Sabbath day, when it clearly says there that we will die if we fast on a Sabbath day. So this is proof that they're trying to kill us. This is proof that they're trying to kill us by telling us to fast on atonement day. By telling us to fast on atonement day is attempted murder. So anybody got something to say, I see you in the comment section.